Okay, here's a couple examples, and these are really super short, so I'm just putting them all in one video. Uh, finding exact values. So we've got 2 times the cosine of pi over 6 minus 4 times the cosine of pi over 3 all over the sine of 3 pi over 2. So let's have our unit circle next to us, and let's just start filling this in. So we have 2 times, and the cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2, and then we subtract 4 times the cosine of pi over 3, well that's 1 half, and then this is all over the sine of 3 pi over 2, which is negative 1. Alright, so when we multiply these out, you can think of the 2 as a 2 over 1, so these two cancel each other, so you're left with square root of 3. And then 4 times 1 half, that's 2, and then this is all over negative 1, and you can just express your answer just like this, that's fine, or if you wanted to divide by that negative 1, this could be negative square root of 3 plus 2, or 2 minus the square root of 3. All of these are acceptable answers to me. Any of those forms is just fine. Notice how we did all that without the calculator. Alright, next example. I've got 9 times the cosine of pi over 3 plus the cosine of pi, all divided by the sine of pi times the cosine of 0 squared. So let's just start filling all of these in. 9 times the cosine of pi over 3, well that's 1 half. I'm going to add the cosine of pi, well that's negative 1. I like to put parentheses around my negatives to kind of keep them intact there. The sine of pi, well that's 0, and then times the cosine of 0 squared, well the cosine of 0 is 1, and then I square that. Okay, so 9 times 1 half, I can just write that as 9 halves, minus 1, all over, well, 0 times 1 squared is going to be 0, and look here, I'm trying to divide by 0, I can't divide by 0, therefore we say that this is undefined, undefined. Alright, and then we have one more example, and this uses our calculator. Um, so with our calculator, we want to find the value to four decimal places of the cosine of 1.41 squared, and then divide that by the sine of negative 3.6. So let's pull up our calculator, or I'll pull up my calculator, you can pull out your calculator, and let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so typing in a cosine squared is just a, just a little bit tricky. Um, and let me go back here a minute and then just show you, remind you, that this really means the cosine of 1.41 squared. So when I type that in, i got to make sure and get these parentheses first. So let's do that. Parentheses, cosine 1.41. Now, notice how it automatically puts that parenthesis in there, so I have to close that parenthesis. Then I have to close the parenthesis again before I square it. And then I can divide by, and then I've got the sine of negative 0.36. And I didn't ch need to check my calculator for radian modes because I was already in radian modes. If you use your calculator in different courses like chemistry and physics, always make sure you're in the correct mode for this class. And then press enter and negative 0 0.0728. That's what the result would be, rounded off to four decimal places. So that's the end of this lesson.